One of the most unique things about musicals that are developed for AFT is that they're tailored for our audience, for our space, um, and we try to have them be reflective of our culture. So a lot of our musicals do take place in Wisconsin. We also have a limitation, which we prefer to think of as a uh, artistic need to make sure that it's suitable for people of all ages. And AFT is so unique in that way, in which you can look across, scan the audience, and there's people, all different ages, and they're all going, and they can be very affordable. And they're still seeing professional theater. Victory Farm started as an idea by the two women writers, Katie Dahl and Emily Coulson, who thought it would be interesting to write about this POW experience in Door County. Emily and I met when we were 11 and 12 years old, respectively, and we had both been big AFT fans. As sometimes happens when two little girls meet on the turf that they both think they have established as their own, um, there was conflict. At first, we um, each thought the other was intruding a little bit on our territory of best uh, AFT volunteer and most fanatical AFT fan. It took us about a year or two to realize that oh, actually this other person has many of the same interests outside of AFT and um, at the theater. I think that we first had the idea to write a show for AFT sometime around the time that we were finishing college. We're not actors, we're not going to be performing in AFT shows. How else can we be a part of this theater company? And wouldn't it be neat if we could try writing a show for them? We decided that it would be fun to write something about cherries because my family has a history of cherry farming. I had sort of heard a little bit here and there about um, that there had been German POWs in Door County during World War II. Six years ago, they came to me with this idea that they wanted to write a story about it. Would I be interested? I said, of course I'm interested. It sounds really, you know, like a good story. And I didn't know anything about that history. So th I think that made it even more appealing, is that it happened in our own backyard and we didn't know anything about it. It really is about uh, reconciliation across cultures. Uh, in a time when America is really seriously working on issues of cultural diversity and cultural understanding. It's our opportunity to talk about cross-cultural understanding within a Door County context. It's not easy to write uh, a script for a musical because really what you're doing is you're aiming for a story that's being told through music as well as through a script. So you have to write to the songs and that's something that, you know, takes some practice. We revised and revised and revised and wrote new songs and wrote new scenes and changed characters and changed uh, sort of what happened within this world we had established. We interviewed one man who lives in Door County who was a 16-year-old kid who was assigned to drive POWs from where they were sleeping to where they were working. And we also interviewed a 91-year-old man named Werner Krauskopf. And he called Door County Vacation Camp. Of all the camps that these POWs were stationed at, they called this one Vacation Camp because it was, you know, the people were nice, the scenery was beautiful, and the work wasn't too hard. My character is called Jack Brown, and I'm one of the guards. I am the guard for these three POWs that come to work on the Cherry Orchard. And I'm sort of a comic, comic foil. You know, I'm sort of, they call him Stand Around Brown because he doesn't really do much. <laughs> he said, watch the POWs, he doesn't really want to work. James Velk joined our project um, in the summer of 2010. Katie and I had both seen his music in other AFT shows, including the Spitfire Grill, and we admired it so much. But what James was able to do is take our story and help us create more background for each character, more strength in each scene, just tell the story more clearly through each of the pieces of music. When they said that James was interested, I said, I think he's going to be your guy. Because James has a lot of experience with writing for musical theater, and specifically writing songs, since he's a composer, but he's also written books. James Valk actually was a member of AFT's predecessor troupe, the Heritage Ensemble. He and I performed together back in 1983, a very long time ago. He and Fred Alley created a show called The Passage for us back in 1994. And then the show Spitfire Grill, which was performed here several times. So they have a real deep appreciation and background of AFT. He also has really helped shape the story. He has this wealth of experience in writing shows and knowledge of the sort of canon of what the American musical play is about and understanding of how it needs to be structured to really function well and 
That's an understanding that Emily and I are still coming to have and are, um, are, we have much less experience with. He's always been so concerned with the central emotional truths of the characters, which is, I think, um, along with his music, his most valuable contribution. Say a prayer, say good luck, say good Now, Victory Farm, it's a specific place, specific times, specific people, um, different cultures, you know, all those elements, they make good storytelling.